Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we've got some tips on how to get the best results out of your plated bullets. Now I use all extreme plated bullets, but it's gonna to apply to pretty much any plated bullet on the market. Now let's go ahead and get zoomed in so you can really see what I'm talking about. Now let's talk about expansion thirst. You can see that this particular case is thawed out really hard, and that's good with a plated bullet because the plating tends to be a little bit softer and thinner than a traditional jacketed bullet, so you don't want any sharp edges that's going to scrape the plating off as you seat the bullet. And it's also good because it makes it really nice and easy to set the bullet on there straight, so the seating die is gonna push the bullet straight into the case instead of the little bit wonker jaw. Now, you also have to be careful when you're crimping a plated bullet for the same reason. You don't want to over crimp it so you scrape the pointing off as the bullet exits the case and makes its way down the barrel. Now you can see that this round right here is really pretty over crimped and you can definitely see that the bullet is deformed and the edges of the case mouth are rolled in. A lot of people think that you need to use crimp to hold the bullet on and that's really incorrect. You want to use the case tension that is done by your sizing die to hold the bullet on. So if you're having problems with setback, you should probably go back and readjust your sizing die and make sure it's in good shape. Now this round right here, you can see that the crimp is nice and smooth, uniform, and it doesn't deform the bullet at all. Basically all it does is it takes the expansion out of the case and returns the case mouth to its original diameter so it will fit in the chamber. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to check out MyGunTips.com for even more tips on shooting, reloading, and gunsmithing. Until we see you next time, I'm BJ Norris, trained to triumph.